All right, so I'm going to walk you through what it looks like to make this chest pawn or how to use Tinkercad on your iPad. So if you don't have um, a computer device at home to use, um, this is what uh, the Tinkercad app looks like. So there is actually a Tinkercad app you can download in self-service. You can just type in Tinker. It'll show up and you can install it. So in here, it looks really similar to the website. Uh, you're going to click Learn. And then in Lessons, you're going to find that chess pawn. So I'm going to restart this so you can see what it's like. And I just clicked on it to open it up. So on the left side, it's going to walk you through the different steps that you're going to follow. Um, the middle is your workspace, and then the right is all your different shapes. So the first step is to drag a cylinder to the workplace. So I'm just going to, I clicked on the cylinder once, and then I'm going to drag it over and place it inside that little ghost cylinder and click next. So it says scale it to a height of three millimeters. Um, so a couple things about it on the iPad. You can zoom by pinching your fingers together. So two fingers on the screen and moving them closer or farther apart. Um, I don't know. Oh, I got it to rotate a little bit. Oh, so to rotate one finger on the screen and just dragging it around in a circle will rotate it. Um, so just one finger two fingers to zoom in, one finger to rotate. So that'll be helpful for later. So we need to set the height to be three millimeters. So the height is this, um, that red square there at the top. And you can either drag it to make it down to three, or you can click on that box with the number and you can type in that dimension. So that's at three, click next. Uh, drag a workspace to the top of that cylinder so or work plane. So my work plane, and I'm going to drag it to the top. Uh, drag a cone. So I'm going to find that cone. I'm going to click on it and drag it over and get it inside of that little ghost. And you can always zoom around to see if you actually got it in the ghost. There we go. That looks better. I scale this shape shorter to a height of 11. So I clicked on the top of the cylinder. I clicked on the dimension box, oops, 11. Drag a sphere. So I'll drag that out. Set the sphere diameter to 18. So to do the diameter of it, these squares on the outside those four squares on the corners um, that's how you can set the diameter so those are going to be 18 and the other one 18 okay so that says scale it shorter to a height of five so i'm just going to try and drag it Five, and then move it to that target area. And there we go. Drag a cone to the workspace. Don't need to be super perfect. So we're gonna end up moving it anyways. Um, make it twenty-eight height and a diameter of fourteen. So just like on the cylinder, you're going to use those four bottom corner squares to get, to set the diameter of it. Oops, go away. There we go. Move it over to the target area. And then we need to lift the cone three millimeters off of the workplace. So that triangle that's kind of hovering above the cone, that black filled in triangle, that's what I'm gonna click and drag up to get it to be 
three. All right, drag another cone. Set it to be a diameter of 12. And a height of 19. Oh, I want to just drag it. No. Oh. All right, so we need to rotate the cone 180 to make it upside down. So I click on that cone. There are three different arrows to rotate it. So like the one along the bottom that just spins it around, that's not gonna really do anything. Um, this one up here, that's the one I want to flip it upside down. So get it to 180. And then I'm going to move it I think I gotta lift it up a little bit. I think five, six it looks like is what you gotta move it over. And if you don't get it perfectly in that shadow, oh, I moved it. Oh, that'll be close enough. We'll move it all around a little bit later. And then drag a new work plane on top. Drag a sphere. Set it to eight by eight by eight. So I got those bottom measurements and I need to do the height. So now we need to select all the shapes. So this is where on the iPad, I'm not sure. Okay, so to select all your shapes, there's two different ways on the iPad. You can quickly double tap and then hold on that second tap to get a little box around it. So you do have to tap pretty quickly and then hold that second one to select everything. If you're struggling with that, you can click one object and then hold this little bubble that's in the bottom left corner and click all of your other objects. I don't know if I got them all. So it's a little tricky to do this on the iPad, but once you have them all selected, you should be able to do this align. So align on this shape, we want to do that middle on these two bottoms. So that looks good. And then we can go to next and we want to group everything. So that's this little square and circle coming together button. And when you group it, it all should become one color. And that's how you know it's grouped. And there you go. So then you can take a screenshot of your little chess piece to turn in on Schoology. That was actually not grouped. We're centered. That looks better. 